Hi, it's Wendy at the Barrington Public Library, and today we're gonna to do this magic milk experiment. So you're gonna need a little bit of milk from home. If you have whole milk, that works the best. 2% um, would be fine, but if you try skim, it might not work as well. Um, but in your kit, you'll get a few pe uh, little bottles with a little bit of food coloring in it, and a Q-tip, and a paper plate. So you'll need your milk. And then um, you also need a little bit of dish soap for your from your kitchen. So here we go. I'm going to turn the camera down. Here's my plate, and I am going to pour in enough milk milk to um, cover the bottom of my paper plate. There we go. A little more. There we go. It's like maybe not even a half a cup. Um, and then I'm going to take my food coloring and I'm going to do just a few drops here or there all around If I can just drop it in instead of pouring it There's some blue And it is sitting there on the top This is gonna be a cool chemical reaction And I even have some yellow Almost looks patriotic there, but I'm gonna add some yellow in here for another effect. Awesome. Okay, yeah, that's good for me. And then you're gonna to need to take your Q-tip and um, whatever type of dish liquid you have at home. This is just Dawn, even though it's not blue or colored. And I wanna soak the end of my Q-tip, really get some good um, dish soap on the end of my Q-tip and I'm just going to insert it in my plate and see what happens. Oh, look at that, isn't that great? I'm going to even lift it up and bring it over here to the side and see, yeah, I can almost make designs this way. And it's still pushing it. I can see where my yellow and and red mixed and made an orange. Let's see if I have, it's still pushing it, so I'm gonna have a little bit left on it. Let me go over to this side, maybe, where the blue is, and see what happens. No, I'll get an email. Okay, I'll there we go, ooh. Um, you can see it's still reacting over here. I think a little bit of the dish soap was left behind. I think I would have poured the whole half a cup of milk on the bottom. This isn't very deep. Um, and I think if my Q-tip gets really deep in there, uh, then I'll make sure all the, ooh, little squirt of blue comes out. All of the, um, the dish soap is able to touch the milk. But it's still going. So this is a really cool chemical reaction. You know, milk is mostly like water. Um, and it has vitamins and minerals and proteins and little droplets, teeny minuscule droplets of fat in it. Um, and that's why it works better when it's whole milk because there is more fat in it. Um, and there is a reaction between the fats in the milk with the dish soap. Um, the little droplets of fats are kind of like oil. Oil and water doesn't mix. So they're kind of sitting in there, kind of separated, but we can't see that. Um, and when we put the dish soap in, it just reacts with those little fat droplets. And they, um, they kind of join up and they twist and they twirl and, and have a really cool reaction. Let me see if I've got some more, a little bit more on this side. Um, so they push and twist and twirl all of the colors that we have. I like this zigzag of blue that's right there. I don't know if you can see that really good. Um, it's pretty cool to get it really good close. It's still moving it, not too much. Let me see if I took my Q-tip and put some new dish soap on. I don't know if there's any more reaction left, but we can see, oh yeah, there's no reaction there. Oh, barely anything. So eventually, um, they've reacted as much as they can to each other, and it will stop. It doesn't keep going on and on and on and on and on. Ooh, let me put my thing right there. It, um, it will slow down and stop. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, we ended up with a tie-dye plate of milk. <laughs> um, and it'd be fun. Maybe you could even do different color changes if you have food coloring at home. 
um, but it was just, it's fun to see reactions and see how uh, oil and water, this is the fat molecules, just like oil, reacts with that soap. They kind of grab onto each other instead of repelling each other. So that's just a really fun, uh, colorful experiment that we did. Hope you had fun. Have a great day, you guys.